Hey, how's it going, people? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to be releasing a little macro recorder for the left-mouse button. Um, I've had this sitting around for almost a year now, and uh, I'm planning on updating it pretty soon to make it add more features to it, more usability and everything. Um, but I'm going to release this older version to get it out there. Um, so what this does is basically it just records wherever I click so I'm gonna I can set it up to start recording and then I just click in a bunch of different locations and then I stop the recording and then I can play it back and I can have it loop through it so I'm just gonna do that real quick so <clears throat> when I hit the start recording it'll pop up this message that says recording will start five seconds after I close the window so once I hit OK in five seconds it'll start recording a tool tip will show up when recording has begun this recorder only records left mouse clicks press the right mouse button to stop recording. I hit OK and I wait five seconds. So this way I can open up whatever I need to do. Okay, so now it's recording. Wherever I want to click, I just click and I can click a series, you know, a thousand different places. So if I have a, a sequence of clicks that I need to repeat over and over again, this is a great tool for that. And it's very minimalistic, very simple, very user friendly. Okay, so I have all of them programmed in. I hit the right mouse button to stop recording, and I can see that it stopped because the little tool tip's gone. And now I have some playback options. I can have it just run through once and then stop, or I can have it loop infinite amount of time, so it'll loop over and over and over again. The playback speed, um, because when I designed this, I had a very specific task in mind so I didn't I didn't bother to um, create the ability to change the how how long it waits before it starts the next delay or how long it waits in between clicks so if you want to change that so the loop the loop delay is so it'll finish the sequence and then it'll wait before it starts the sequence again you can change that if you find these uh, labels here so we got the first the short is 30 milliseconds, the medium is one second, and long is six seconds. All right, so if you, once, you, once you get this, you can just change it to whatever you need it to be. All right, so now that we have our information into it, I'm going to hit short, and I'm going to hit start playback. And it gives me a message box that says, playback will start five seconds after I close this window. So that gives me a chance to open up whatever, close whatever I need to do. Okay, so I hit OK and I just wait five seconds and it'll start looping that. And it'll do that until I'm ready to stop. Alright, so if I want to pause it to do something else for a quick second, all I have to do is hit Control Z and that'll pause it. And then I hit Control Z to start it where it left off. If I just want to stop it so that way it's when I restart it it'll start the whole sequence over again I hit control R and then if I hit start playback again it'll start from the beginning and if I hit, want to just exit the whole thing I can either hit the X at the top of the program or I can hit control X and that's it alright so that's it for this um, I'll leave a link in the description for how to get a copy so I'll leave the paste bin all you have to do is just copy the paste into a blank notepad um, what I suggest if you're not familiar with auto hotkey or whatever I have a something called a mini tutorial it's uh, mini tutorial number one and it goes over how to how to run auto hotkey scripts so I'm not going to bother explaining it in this video I don't want this video to be too long most people who watch my videos they already know all this stuff so if you don't know about it just find the video that I have it's called mini auto hotkey mini tutorial number one how to run auto hotkey scripts check that out use the link in the description for the paste bin and you're good to go alright have a good day